Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Fashion Trick, a little series where I like to help you guys out with your fashion dilemmas and give you some inspiration of how to alter those thrifted finds. Hello, hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Fashion Fix. So spring and summer is in full swing and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen someone rock a ruffle, a flare or a bell sleeve or two. So in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make this really cool off the shoulder bell sleeve top. So without further ado, let's get into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing I did was just quickly laid my shirt down and I'm just pinning the two pieces of fabric together just to keep the shirt in place. Then the first thing I'm going to do is just remove the collar with my picker so that's just what I'm doing here. Now that my collar is removed, I'm going to go ahead and remove my sleeves. So once your sleeves are removed, you can just leave those to one side as you will be using those later. Then you want to take your shirt and you want to remove the yoke at the back of the shirt. Then once that was moved I just lined up my two pieces of fabric um, the front and the back together and pinned those in place and then I'm just getting my ruler and making a straight line along the top half of the shirt. Then I'm just going to cut straight along the line that I marked. Then using the front seam of my shirt as a marker, I am just cutting away the back half of the sleeve. Then taking my sleeves again, I am just marking out roughly um, a pattern for my new sleeves. Just following the outline of the seams on the outside. Then quickly just cutting that out. Then just grabbing my other sleeve, I am going to chase around my existing sleeve that I cut out but this time I'm going to flip the shirt the other way around so we don't have two of the same sides. So now that we have our new sleeves we're just going to pin those in place so that's just what I'm doing right here. Then once both my sleeves were pinned in place, I just took a little bit more fabric off the top centre of the shirt um, as I did want the um, all the seams to line up correctly so I'm just taking off a little bit excess fabric. Now that that is done, I'm going to go to my machine and sew my sleeves in place. Once I was finished with that, I decided to lay my shirt down and I'm just removing the buttons from the front half of the shirt and pinning the seam down.
I do apologize guys but I forgot to film but I just um, sewed that seam down shut at the front of the shirt and now I am just hemming the top half of the shirt to make a tunnel for the elastic for the off the shoulder part. Once I was done with that I folded my hem down about half an inch all the way around the shirt. Just make sure that your elastic is able to fit inside your tunnel. So it's up to you which size you'd like to hem your shirt. Just um, do it with the measurement of the elastic that you're going to use. Then you want to grab your elastic and wrap it just around the the top half of your shoulders just to see the size and length of the elastic that you need and then just give it a bit of a wiggle so you know that it's comfortable and give it a cut. Then you want to attach a safety pin, sorry guys it's out of focus, and then start to feed your elastic through the tunnel that you made earlier. So once you've had your elastic all the way through your tunnel, you want to take your safety pin and take it out of the first end of the elastic and put it through both ends of the elastic and then close it back up and then pull your elastic through until it's even all the way around. Then I gave it a quick try on just to see how it fit and to see if the elastic was comfortable around my shoulders. And then I marked with a pin just above my waist to see where I wanted to cut the bottom half of the shirt. Since I was happy with the fit I just went in with a zigzag stitch to secure the elastic in place. Then used a basic straight stitch to close off my tummy. Then using my pin that I marked earlier as my guideline, I'm just making a straight line across the middle half of the shirt. Then quickly pin it in place so it doesn't move and then I'm going to cut along that line. Then taking the bottom half of the shirt that we just cut, I'm going to fold them in half like so and cut straight in the middle. Then I'm just going to sew them in place down the side and make a basing stitch at the top and that these will make the bell half of our sleeve. Once you have made your basing stitch, you want to gently pull the top or bottom thread of your stitch gently to gather the fabric along the seam. Before we add our bell sleeve you just want to remove the existing cuff that is on 
the bottom sleeve of the shirt and then I just kind of tapered the sleeve a little bit more as I wanted to be a bit more tight fitting on my arm so that's just what I've done here and I'm just going to do a basic straight stitch to close that off. Now that is all done we are just going to flip our bell sleeve right sides together and then pull the sleeve through the hole and then just pin the sleeve all the way around the bottom half of the bell sleeve. Since the circumference of the shirt was a little too small to fit around the bottom half of my machine, I am just stitching along the top of it, making sure that there is no fabric underneath and then just going all the way around. And then I was finished. So I don't know if you can see guys but I decided not to hem the bottom half of the top as I liked the way that the seams were just naturally distressed um, and as you guys can see the sleeves are quite long but I kind of like it like that so it's really up to you whether you guys want that length of um, bell sleeve but you can just adjust um, to your desired length. So that is my video guys, I really hope you enjoyed, if you did please do give it a thumbs up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already to see more videos from me and I'll see you guys in my next one, peace.